Hi, my name is Scott Heron and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about the third study on the Grade 1 cello exam by Trinity which is called The Sad Cowboy. This deals with cello techniques. So what techniques are they talking about in, in particular? Well, right on the, in the first bar, you've got what we call double stopping. So we're playing two notes at the same time. So a D and an A, sounds like that. In bar two, you've got a D and a G. So we haven't started using our left hand yet. You, you can be scratching your head while you're, while you're playing that. So my first tip is make sure your cello is in tune. Because if it isn't in tune, it's going to sound horrendous. So this is in tune. Listen to what it would sound like if I played it slightly out of tune. That's only a tiny bit out of tune. So it's horrendous. And that sounds horrendous. So now I'm now going to bring it up to pitch. Doesn't that sound nice? Isn't that better? So, so make sure that you that you get the first or you get your cello bang in tune. So I would use um a tuner. So I have one called Guitar Tuner, which I use, which is it's a free app. It's really, really good. I'd really recommend that you get some that or something else like that. So that's the first little issue. It's in three four, so three crotchets in a bar, and it's more to dash you. So I set my metronome to crotch equals 65, which is the highest tempo for a dash you. After that it goes into adagiato, which is a faster adagio. Um, so one of the issues about this piece is that you've got uneven bows. So in the first bar, for example, you've got a minim followed by crotchet. So that's actually the first two bars. So look, this is going to be a slow bow, fast bow, slow, fast. So make sure that the, the fast bow is quite light. If you don't lighten your bow, then what will happen is that it'll stick out like a sore thumb. So, so we want the first bit of the bar to be the strong one, not the third. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So the way I lightened on the third beat there. Also, the dynamics in this piece are important. So we've got um, the first two bars, which are forte, which means loud, and then the second two bars are piano, which means softly. And then we've got a forte and then a piano after that, so it finishes quietly. So exaggerate the dynamics. Make sure that the examiner is in no doubt at all that you have noticed those dynamics. So play your loud's loud and your soft softs. Um, yes. And the one other thing to mention is about the slurs. So that's another little cello articulation, isn't it? So in bar, um, it's really towards the end. It's the last um, couple of bars. So bar one, two, three, four, five, six. Bar six and bar seven, you've got a slur. So you've got a slur, slur. And on the very last note, make sure that you slow your bow down. Or sure if it's moving or not whenever you do finish though you lift your bow off about an inch off the string hold it there for two seconds and then relax and as soon as you relax you stop the magic and the examiner can just oh, breathe a sigh of relief and give you fill marks so all that remains for me to say is it's your exam and chelio until the next video